we need to obtain the sum of the following series. So let's begin. We'll first denote our given sum as Sn equals to 8 plus 88 plus 888 all the way up to n number of terms. Now what we'll do, we'll take 8 as the common factor. So we'll have 8 multiplied to 1 plus 11 plus 111. Uh, that goes up to n terms. Now, in the next step, what we'll do, we'll multiply each of the terms with 9. Since we are multiplying by 9, we'll also have to divide the entire series by 9. So, 8 over 9 multiplied to 9 plus 99 plus 999. This goes all the way up to n number of terms. The next, we can rewrite our terms 9 as 10 minus 1. We can rewrite 99 as 100 minus 1 or 10 squared minus 1. Then 999 can be also expressed as 1000 minus 1 or 10 cubed minus 1. This also goes up to n number of terms. Then we have 8 over 9 multiplied to, so we'll combine the first term of each of the terms. So that means we have 10 plus 10 squared plus 10 cubed. This adds up to n number of terms and terms. And we will combine all the remaining terms, which is negative. If we take negative as the common factor, so the remaining terms is actually 1 added to itself, n number of terms. Now, this is a geometric progression. Or we can say this is a geometric series with our first term, a value equals to 10. And a common ratio is given by 10 squared divided by 10, the second term divided by first term, which also gives us the value 10. And when we use the formula for finding out the sum, which is a times r raised to the power of n minus 1 divided by r minus 1. So in our case, we have our first term, which is given by 10. So this will be multiplied to the common ratio 10 raised to the power of n minus 1 divided by 10 minus 1. So we have 10 divided by 9 multiplied to 10 raised to the power of n minus 1. So we can multiply 10 raised to the power of n to each of the terms within the parentheses to get 10 raised to the power of n plus 1 divided by 9 minus 10 over 9. So this is the sum. And then we have 1 plus 1 added to itself n number of times. So this is simply 1 multiplied to n. So therefore, our sum will now become Sn. That's equals to 8 over 9. So 8 over 9 is multiplied to this particular sum, which is 10 raised to the power of n plus 1 divided by 9 minus 10 over 9 minus. So we have 1 times n. So that's simply now we'll factor out 1 over 9 from within the parentheses and uh, combine it with 8 over 9 to get 8 divided by 9 times 9 is 81. So we have 8 over 81. So this will be multiplied to 10 raised to the power of n plus 1 minus 10 minus 9n. So this is going to be our sum of the given series up to n number of terms.